During the Trailblazer Reloaded League, the world of RuneScape was divided into 10 regions. Players could only access two of these regions at the start, and of the remaining eight, each player could only unlock three. This means that there were 56 possible region combinations for each player to choose. My goal was to pick the least popular of these 56 combinations. So I decided to pick the Wilderness, Tyrannon, and Fremenic. Was I right? Was this the least popular region combination? To find out, I had to do some scraping of the OSRS high scores. I somehow managed to produce functional code that would grab me a list of every user that achieved 24,000 points or more during the Trailblazer Reloaded League. It's not pretty, but it works. If you want to check it out, you can find a link to it down in the description. This would give me a list of 108,875 player names. You may think this threshold is too high and I should have lowered it to get more names, but below this point it's actually kind of hard to figure out most people's three regions from their high scores. Plus, I pissed off Jagex's website and timed myself out multiple times from all the requests I was sending, so even at this number, this took several days to run. Once I had a list of all those names, I had my script go through each player's name and grab their league's high scores. Using these, I can figure out what regions players picked based on their KCs. For example, if someone was ranked for Temporos, Barrows, and Giant Mole on the high scores, I know that the three regions they picked were the Desert, Mauritania, and Asgarnia, since you need those three regions to access those bosses. Since I'm relying on players getting ranked on at least one boss in each of their regions, I was only able to figure out the regions for 99,659 of those players, just short of 100,000 total of counts. Still, a very good sample size in my opinion. So with all that said, which were the most and least popular region combinations in this league? So my friends said that I should film my live reaction to finding out uh, the results of this data analysis. Because I told them that I think I am quite possibly the only one who picked Wilderness, Tyrannon, and Fremenic, and I want to see if it's true. If it is true, I reserve the right to use the title and thumbnail that they suggested here. Well, yeah, my friend said there's no way in hell that I am the only player out of thousands to pick a 1 in 56 permutation, so is it possible? I know what nearly 100,000 people have picked as their three areas in Trailblazer Reloaded. Actually, you know what? If you want to play along, pause the video now. You can place your bets in the comments. What do you think were the most picked and least picked regions? My bet for the most picked region combination is this one right here. Desert, Kandarin, and Zaya. I'm going to safely assume that this is the most picked regions. I think that no matter what, the most picked region combination contains Desert and Zaya. But now I just don't know if that third region is going to be Asgarnia, Mauritania, or Kandarin. But I'm leaning towards Kandarin, so let's unhide this. And see if I'm correct. Was this the most picked region combination? Oh, it was second. Damn, I wonder what could be uh, what could be above this. But okay, now it's time to see if what I based my entire Trailblazer Reloaded series off of was correct. My bet was that this right here, Fremenic, Tyran, and Wilderness, is the least picked of these 56 region combinations. And now it's time to see. Was I correct? 45, wow, 66 of us actually picked this region combination. That's crazy. There are 10 more, 11 more combinations, excuse me, that were less picked than this. That's crazy. All right, looks like I was actually far off the mark. I was nowhere near correct. I know th this one was probably picked by a couple people just for the meme because it's FTW or backwards WTF for the win or, you know, what the F. Ah, uh, but now I'm wondering, what is the least picked out of these? I really want to try and guess correctly. I'm going to unhide one more before I sort them. Okay, I've given it a think, and I think I've settled on this one here. Mauritania, Tyran, and Wilderness. I think they don't really have much synergy for any of the combat styles. I think that this one is going to be number 56. 55! Only 12 people picked it. Okay, so I was very close. Time to unhide this, sort it, and see what it looks like. The most popular region combination by far was Asgarnia Desert Zaya, with 24,596 players, nearly a quarter, choosing those three regions. This is in stark contrast to Fremenic Mauritania Tyrannon, which was only picked by 8 players. Yes, out of nearly 100,000 players, only 8 of them chose these regions. For comparison, if each of these 56 region combinations was chosen equally, you'd have each one chosen by 1,780 players, or 1.78%. So to the 8 of you out there who picked Fremenic, Mauritania, Tyrannon, congratulations, you are truly the specialist snowflakes of all the Trailblazer Reloaded League. 
So there was a slight issue here with the spreadsheet due to the PvP arena messing me up. You'll see it's fixed in the following clips. The numbers are just ever so slightly different now. Here is the full list of how many players picked each of these 56 region combinations. How popular was yours? You can pause the video if you want to take a closer look or check out the spreadsheet that I will have linked in the description. Here's some more fun stats that I learned by looking at the spreadsheet. The top 43 players all chose the desert. Also, the top 40 players all completed the Fight Caves and Inferno exactly 15 times, no more, no less. These players were all being extremely efficient with their tasks it seems. 94 of the players on this list have Dong in their name. Very mature guys. And girls. 1,658 players ended with exactly 56,000 points, just enough for Dragon Rank. If we include everyone who finished with up to 56,190 points, that is, within one elite task of Dragon Rank, we get 6,904 players stopping their journey right at this point. I think a lot of people are really happy about the static rank thresholds this time. If you're liking this video so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate your support. If you want to dig up any other interesting stats, feel free to check out the spreadsheet in the description and leave what you find in the comments. So originally I meant to end the video here and make a separate one as a sort of discussion video where I shared my thoughts on the Trailblazer Reloaded League, but I decided to significantly pare down how much discussion I wanted to do since I don't want to just repeat what I've seen others have already said, and at this point I figure I might as well just squeeze in my discussion here at the end of this video. So no more reading from a script from this point on, but I do have some talking points written down that I want to go over. So just to preface this a little bit, I went in with very high expectations for this because I loved the original Trailblazer League, and I went in expecting just a copy-paste rerun of the original, but this far exceeded my expectations with the new relics, especially with the new passes, I have to say, making the Crystal Memories into a passive, and having minigame point multipliers, and up to five times increased drop rates were all fantastic changes in my opinion, and I, and I think that the League just felt so much smoother as a result. All the new tasks that they added I think were great. I loved seeing the task list expanded so much. Definitely in all regards, it was better than the original. And yet that being said, if I look back and I have to say which one was my favorite league, I would say it was the original Trailblazer League. That might sound like a paradox, but I just have feel like the novelty of the original Trailblazer League outweighs the improvements in the Trailblazer Reloaded League. So even though I guess I would say that objectively this league was better, I just have a more fond recollection of my experience with the original League because it was just something new. And all that being said, as much as I love the Trailblazer format, I never want to see it again. At least not for the next who knows how many years. I want to see new formats and I really hope that Jagex doesn't <laughs> decide to do League's 5 Twisted... What's a good word I can put here? Twisted... Twisted Revenge. They would do something like that. Oh, because it's an obvious choice because Valamore is going to come out so now... Zaya is going to be a bigger continent, but I really want them to do something else. Even if it is just region locking, I think you could just pick like arbitrary regions. For example, you can do an East of the River Lum League. Why not? You could just have half a Mistelin plus the Desert and Mauritania. And I think that that decreased scope would be a good thing. Because if you look at the task list in the Trailblazer Reloaded League, I think you'll note that the two regions that have the most fleshed out task lists by far are Desert and Karend. And that's no coincidence because Karend, like I just said, had the Twisted League, so it had its very own league where they really had to pad out that list by going into detail with just about every activity they could think of. Tithe farm, farming contract, pretty much any sort of PVM activity. And the desert is a consequence of the fact that in the original Trailblazer League, it was pretty dry of content, so in order to pad out the task list, they really had to come up with a bunch of tasks for every activity that existed at the time. Mage Training Arena, Pyramid Plunder, Sorceress's Garden, and now that since then we have gotten a lot more content to the desert like Temporos, Giant's Foundry, and of course Tombs of a Masket, just adding in a good amount of tasks for those other activities suddenly meant that desert was actually very full with tasks to do and activities to do. And I think that it would be nice if other regions got that treatment. So I just mentioned Mauritania and I feel like looking at the task list for both this and the original Trailblazer League, I never picked Mauritania because the tasks were all concentrated in very few activities. 
most of it just revolving around Nightmare, Theater of Blood, and Hallowed Sepulchre. And so if you don't really like those three activities, there's not a whole lot else for you in there. There's not like any sort of... There aren't that many skilling tasks and stuff, so I would really like to see them go more into depth on that. I feel like you could add more tasks for trouble brewing, for temple trekking, even just getting you to do skilling activities in some unexplored areas like the Haunted Mine, for example. And also, I do think that it is nicer to concentrate players into a smaller area because being someone who picked mostly dead areas this league uh, kind of sucked as soon as I left, like, Mistelin or Karamja, it was just pretty dead in all of my other areas, and I mean, this is a, even if you are playing Iron Man, this is still an MMO, and it's nice to see other players around, so I would definitely like to see something other than the Trailblazer format moving forward, but not so unrestricted as the Shattered Relics format, because that just feels like the base game, but faster, and with buffs, and I feel like there should be buffs, but there should also be some meaningful restrictions, that make leagues feel different from the main game. Because I think the biggest issue with Shattered Relics is that it didn't really feel different from the main game because you didn't really have any meaningful restrictions. The whole Sage's Renown kind of just slowed you down at the beginning, but by the end of it, you were just playing all the same stuff that you could otherwise. I think the actual length of the league was good. I think eight weeks is like a good upper limit for a temporary mode. I don't think it... I know a lot of people want them to extend it, but I think it shouldn't really last any longer than that. That being said, like I said, I feel like the scope should be reduced so that the average player can reasonably complete more content within that limited amount of time. I don't think it should be balanced around people who are playing for 16 hours a day and then complete all the content that they have to do in a week or two. So something like, you know, an East of the River Lum League, for example, that gives you about two and a half regions compared to the five of Trailblazer format. So. Right off the bat, you've pretty much cut your scope in half, and I think that would be a good change, in my opinion. Alright, so that's my data analysis and some garbled thoughts I had on this league. If you have any thoughts of your own that you want to contribute, please do add them in the comments. I read all of your comments. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time.